After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Yes, yes, I need to look my best. We've got kings on this week. Wait, we're on! Shoo, shoo, shoo! This is BBC News. These latest headlines for viewers in Israel and around the world. Tonight, there have been reports of VIP visitors seen in Bethlehem. They have appeared from out of town and seem to be asking a lot of questions about the star. As always, our reporter is on the scene. Hi Zerubbabel, I am here with one of those VIP visitors. Well, you certainly know how to stand out from a crowd. Can you tell me what brings you to Bethlehem? Well, thanks for asking. Well, my colleagues and I are very interested in celestial developments, and this new star was most intriguing. So, we consulted our charts, and we found out that this star was to herald the birth of a king. So we packed up our bags, and we headed off for a closer look. Well, that's a really long way to travel for the birth of a new king. Surely kings are being born every day? Yes, but this isn't any king. This would be the long foretold king of the Jews. So, obviously, we went straight to Jerusalem and Herod's palace for this important king. Uh, unfortunately, Herod hadn't really heard about it. But he got his best men on it, and they sent us back out again. And what would you know? But the star moved ahead of us over Bethlehem, David's town. And when we got there, we found the baby lying in the manger. It wasn't at all what we expected. And what did you do when you found the baby? Well, we worshipped him, because this star was clearly very important. And we gave him our gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. Wow, those are some odd choices, but thank you. I better not delay you any further, but thank you so much for your time. This baby is becoming quite a celebrity. Prophets foretold his birth. Angels appeared to tell the parents of his soon to be arrival. Born in David's town of David's line. Star appearing in the sky, angels visiting shepherds to tell of his birth, and now kings bringing gifts from afar in worship of this new king, God's own son the chosen Messiah. I can only imagine that one day he will lead his people back to God. This baby is our Emmanuel. Wow, that really is incredible news. I can't wait to see what happens. As always, we will be right here with the reports when it does. No one knows how far the Magi, or the wise men as we often call them, had to, had to travel to visit the baby Jesus. 
Some estimates suggest that they had to travel between 400 and 700 miles and that that could have taken up to a month. Others estimate it could have taken more than a year for the Magi to follow the star to Bethlehem. Whatever the distance, this group of stargazers spent a lot of time learning the scriptures and travelling to see the promised Messiah. Last time we thought about the Jewish shepherds being the first to hear the good news of Jesus' birth. The Jews were God's chosen people who had continually rejected him. By announcing the news to them first, God offered them yet another opportunity to turn back to him. Now, although we don't know a lot about the Magi, we can be pretty sure that they were not Jews, because they lived in countries to the east of Israel. We know that they were well educated because they'd studied their Old Testaments, and they knew about the promised Messiah. And they were also rich enough to be able to afford to travel such a long distance, and to bring with them gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, gifts that they would give to Jesus. So what does that tell us? Well, firstly, that Jesus came to save all who put their trust in him. Whether a Jew like the shepherds or Gentile like the Magi, it makes no difference. It makes no difference whether we're rich like the Magi or poor like the shepherds. Anyone who asks for forgiveness in Jesus' name will be forgiven because of what Jesus did for us by dying on the cross. But we can also see how studying their scriptures helped the Magi find Jesus. They learned all about the promised Saviour, so that when the star appeared, they knew straight away that they wanted to find him for themselves, to bow down and to worship him. As we come to the end of our Nativity Chronicle series, I want to leave you with a challenge. Whoever you are, whatever your background or age, Take the time to learn what the Bible tells you about Jesus. Now you might find it easier starting in the New Testament with a book like, like Luke, but either read it for yourself or get someone to read it to you. Start on the journey that the Magi went on and discover for yourself the good news that continues to bring great joy, that a Saviour, Jesus, has been born for us all. darkness shining at Christmas time light of the world and his name is Jesus light of the world is gonna shine see him shine 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 light of the world is gonna shine and Christmas shine 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 Shine, 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 light of the world is gonna shine. He's the Savior, He's God's Son, He's good news for everyone. He's Messiah, He's the King in David's line. Hear the angels proclaim, singing praise to God's name. He's the light of the world, He's gonna shine. See Him shine, shine, shine. Shine, 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 light of the world is gonna shine at Christmas. Shine, 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 light of the world is gonna shine. He's 
God's son He's good news for everyone He's Messiah, he's the king in David's line Hear the angels proclaim Singing praise to God's name He's the light of the world He's gonna shine So see him shine, shine, shine Shine, shine, shine Light of the world is gonna shine at Christmas Shine, shine, shine Shine, shine, shine Light of the world is gonna shine So see him shine, shine 